this isn't a normal everyday video this is how i make my videos each day so lots of people always ask how do you do it what app do you use blah blah blah, blah. so this is just a short video of how i do it first is i use another phone i only use one phone it's just i've got a new one that's what you're on now i do everything with a phone in landscape mode like this so make sure the camera's facing forwards which is a bit difficult with one hand i'm going to show you how i edit them as well so like today it'll be set the phone out i'll be like it's day nine three eight i think it is it's sunday blue skies i'm currently making a video over here of how i make the videos uh, I did a little bit of filming yesterday at some of the corn, but, the, but the, it was too wet. It's a bit difficult doing it with two phones. Once I've filmed all the bits for that day, they then all end up in my camera roll. Then I have an app called Splice, which I'll show you in a minute. And I open that up and then I click all the different bits for that day. And that's when I start editing. So I'm going to go and get a tripod. So I can put this camera on the tripod and show you how I edit. Just remember, always do it landscape if it's for tiktok it's portrait if it's for youtube it's landscape that's the biggest thing that people do wrong especially when people send me footage in they always send it portrait not landscape got my tripod now very rarely use it i think it's about six months since we were last doing something when we needed a tripod i have a magnetic mount to hold my phone which i sometimes use when i'm recording the cab but not often I use a tripod it's not often i use two cameras either i try and do it all with one camera because otherwise it just makes the editing much harder I don't use GoPros. I do have one. I have used it the odd time, but I find that they're quite dark, the quality from them. Whereas a phone, it's better at being like poor light or adapting quicker to the light, maybe. I don't quite know, but everything I shoot, 99.9% .9 of it is done with an iPhone. This is currently an iPhone 14. Once I've done some filming, I then open an app called Splice. It takes a little while because the phone's so full. I'll go new project. Once I've opened a new project, I want to select the files I want. So that's that one. And then some of the filming that I did yesterday. Don't normally use filming from the day before, but the video yesterday just ended up so long that I cut it down. So see how I've just highlighted the, the different frames that I need. And then, I think that's them all. And then I'll press next. And then I'll choose what format I want. So I want it in YouTube widescreen. Press create. And then that is all the clips now stitched together. So if we listen. Phone out. I'll be like, it's day nine, three, eight. I think it is, it's Sunday. Blue skies. So I'm going to cut that off the beginning now by holding it down. So it just says. It's day nine, three, eight, I think it is. It's Sunday, blue skies. I'm currently making a video over here of how I make the videos. Uh, I did a little bit of filming yesterday. It's under corn, but, the, but the, it was too wet. Sorry, the, the video was too long. So I cut some of it out. So you're going to see some of that today. A little bit of an update. I want the buggy out, but I don't want the... So that was filmed straight from an update. today, now to yesterday. Out. So I'm going to have to back it out. So I know what I've said there, so I'll fast forward then. Either that or demote wrong. That's fine, the transition. It's like musical. Take a little bit off the beginning of that. Bit of a delay before I start speaking. It's like musical chip. So fast forward that, that's okay. Because I've had to, had to take the limit of it now. I'll take the right off the end. Because I've had, had to take the limit of it now. So I fast forward the clips and if I need to I just trim the bits so I'm going to stop this recording at the moment finish editing and then I'm going to show you how I upload so once I've finished editing on the app called splice I press save 1080p and then that will now export it across to my camera roll. Once in the camera roll, I'll press add, upload video. And then I will pick the video that I need. 
So I've not finished today's video actually, so you'll get that later today, but you'll do, see, that'll be it. Press that and then I'll press next. And then that will now start uploading. So I'll put a title in, but I'm, what I do is I go into my notes. I edit yesterday's title and then I copy and paste it and I copy and paste the birthday bumper and everything else underneath. And then I drop it into the title and then the description and then press upload and then leave it. Then I open Instagram and I go story and I find a picture that I want. So I say like that was going to be my thumbnail and then I go text and I'll put whatever the title for today's video is. So I'll just put test, make it in white so you can see it better. And then I do zoom in and I'll put that there. Then I go save and that now will be the thumbnail. So once the, the video is uploaded to YouTube, I open what's called YouTube Studio into the dashboard. And if this was the video, this was yesterday's video, I would now go into there and I'd click that button and I would change the thumbnail to that one if I wanted to. I'm not going to because that was yesterday's video. So we'll leave that as it is. So that's just how easy it is. That is the app I use, Splice, to do all the editing. Anyway, I hope you found today's video interesting. And it's, it's just a one-off because loads of people ask me how I do the videos and how I edit them. So that's what I've just shown you. Anyway, if you've liked this video and enjoyed it, click like. And um, if you've got any more questions, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you later on at today's blog.